Hey everyone, welcome to our channel, Liftoff. We provide SpaceX news and updates and also keep you abreast of all important developments in a space race. In this episode, we have updates on SpaceX and China launches this month. We also cover Starship updates and look what the competition is up to, especially Blue Origin and Relativity Space. But before we move on on the updates, please subscribe to our channel. If you enjoy your time with us, please like us and share. Here are the launches of this month. Falcon 9 B-1062 will be reused to launch a payload for the Space Force on 17th June. It will take the fifth third-generation navigation satellite for a global positioning system. This will be the first time that a US military launches a national security payload using a reused commercial rocket. The same booster had supported the launch of the previous GPS-3 SV-04 payload for the space station. Last year, the Pentagon lifted a requirement that commercial booster launching payloads for national security should not be reused. But for this launch, they asked the same booster that launched GPS-3 SV-04 should be used. It is estimated that reusing rockets to launch national security payload will save about $64 million. Falcon 9 B-1062 already completed a fire test and will lift off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. If it launches successfully, the Falcon 9 rocket will likely launch GPS-3 SV-06 as well in the late 2021 or early 2022. The last Falcon 9 launch for this month is scheduled for 24th June. Falcon 9 B-1062 will launch the Transporter 2 with dedicated SSO rideshare. China is due to launch Long March 2F rocket with a Shenzhou-12 spacecraft to the Tian core module, which was launched on April 28. The spacecraft will launch from Jingwan in the Gobi Desert and will take three astronauts who will primarily perform repairs and maintenance duties on space station under construction. And here is our Starship update. A new section has been added to the Starship launch tower, which is now halfway complete. SpaceX revealed that Starship will eventually relieve Falcon 9 of its current Starlink launching duties and take over from there. Starship will have a capacity of over 400 Starlink satellites. That will be just over seven times the current payload capacity of Falcon 9. In addition to incredible payload size, Starship will also be fully reusable. Falcon 9 is still partially reusable, and that pushes launch cost up. Starship will therefore launch Starlink satellites at a far lower cost per unit. And what is the SpaceX competition up to? Relativity Space has announced additional funding of $650 million from Fidelity and other investors. Relativity Space founders Tim Ellis and Jordan Noon are presenting competition against Elon Musk, SpaceX and Falcon 9. They founded their company to introduce new technologies that would address what they saw as a gap in the production and reusability of space rockets. They're working on two rockets, Terran 1 and Terran R which are mostly 3D printed and fully reusable. Ellis and Noon are competing with Starship in terms of production time, cost and full reusability. But the proposed Terran R rocket will also compete with a Falcon in terms of size and versatility. With the use of 3D printing, they project the reduction of parts by a hundred volt. That would be a huge reduction in parts. But they also promise reduced production time so that production would increase by a hundredfold. According to founders of Relativity Space, they will be able to build everything from raw material to a rocket on the launch pad in less than 60 days. This would result from fewer man hours, reduced parts, and machine learning technology. In 2024, when they expect to be ready to launch, Musk better be well in a Starship game. But as they say, competition is good for the market. Advancement in space technology are good for our civilization, if indeed we are to be an interplanetary civilization as Elon Musk is, quite successfully, selling to the world. Moving on from relativity space, Blue Origin Jeff Bezos should be smiling right about now, 
a bid of $28 million, finally won a seat on Blue Origin's new Shepard ride with Jeff Bezos. In month-long bidding process, there were more than 6,000 bids from over 143 countries, with the highest bid at $4.8 million. The asynchronous bidding process was closed on 10 June, but a seat went to an undisclosed winner during the live auction which involved over 7,600 registered bidders from 159 countries. The winner will join Jeff Bezos and his brother on suborbital sightseeing space trip. The ride is expected to boost funding for the company and increased enthusiasm for space as tourism destination. Blue Origin will name a Ford passenger in weeks leading up for a flight schedule on 20 July. It will be New Shepard's first crew flight, but a 16th lunch overall. The proceeds from the auction will go to Blue Origin's Foundation Club for the future. It's a non-profit organization whose goal is to encourage kids to pursue STEM subjects, programs, and increase future capacities for spacefaring. Jeff Bezos is the richest of the three billionaire aeronauts. The other two, of course, are founders and CEOs, Elon Musk of SpaceX and Virgin Galactic's Richard Branson. Bezos wants to be the first among them to go to space, but Branson might not let him. He might go to the edge of the space on weekend of 4 July on Virgin VSS Unity test flight. Although Elon Musk has not talked much about going to space soon, he has demonstrated the greatest ambition so far, a rush for Mars that could almost be described as impatient. He may not be in hurry to go to space, but he is in big rush to get people to Mars. And with that, we come to the end of today's update. Thank you for visiting our channel and staying with us to the end. Please, like us and share. We would like also to hear from you. Comment below and let us know what would you like on this channel and what you would like us to talk about on future episodes. Thank you and have a great day. For now, it's bye from us at Liftoff.